Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and I am the Pink Ravenclaw. We have had a ton of Hogwarts Legacy news that have happened in the past week, but even more than that, the past couple weeks since I last did a Hogwarts Legacy video. I don't have the capability of coming up with videos very quickly now that I am working a full-time corporate job. Oh, and also I am currently in Austin living my best life and eating my way through the city. But so much has happened that I did want to do a quick video just going over all of the Hogwarts Legacy updates that we have had. And I also wanted to share some of my own insights about what I have known because I interviewed for Hogwarts Legacy last year. So quickly, here's what I'm going to cover in this video and you can skip to the timestamps down below if you want to. So one, we finally have a release date for Hogwarts Legacy, but it's in February. Two, Hogwarts Legacy is going to be at Gamescom. Three, we have gotten multiple sneak peeks of artwork and possibly even some game mechanics through social media posts and the Autodesk presentation. And four, and this literally just happened, we have a new summer themed ASMR video. First up, release date. Hogwarts Legacy will be released on February 10th, 2023 on most platforms. At the moment, we do not have a release date for the Switch, so it's possible that will come out later, like not on February 10th, or it's possible they just aren't sure if it's gonna be ready for February 10th and we will find out soon. One way or the other, we will know the release date for the Switch, we just don't know it yet. Did I know the release date in advance? No, I did not. However, based on the information that I got through the interview process, I had guessed that the game would come out in Q4 of this year. It was maybe gonna come out in Q3, but I did not think that was likely. And those are my predictions even prior to the holiday 2022 announcement. And then when so many people were trying to make holiday fit, like summer holidays or Halloween, I was just like, mm, I, I have no opinion that I can say publicly because I signed an NDA and WB Games saw my previous video about my interview process. They told me it was fine, but they told me I could not say anything beyond what I said in that video. So I've been keeping mum on all of this stuff. Um, I am surprised on the by the delay. Like, Again, based on what I learned about the progress of the game when I interviewed, I really thought it was gonna be coming out this year. However, my interviews were in October and November of last year, so obviously things have changed since then. Delays happen, life happens, it's fine. I am personally not really upset by the delay. I thought the game was gonna come out in the latter half of December maybe early December. So this is really just a delay of a couple months and I would rather have a clean release for the game than a rush leap release in December. Second, Gamescom. Yes, this is the big gaming event that I teased in my video a few months ago. When I interviewed with Eric, he asked me if I had a passport because Hogwarts Legacy was definitely going to be at Gamescom, which is in Germany, and the community manager might need to attend Gamescom. I have asked both Eric and Chandler if they will be attending Gamescom in person at time of filming. They have not responded to me on Twitter. It is my personal opinion that at least one motivation for both of them going to the San Diego Comic Con and then also LeakyCon in Orlando was to get experience for major cons, especially related to gaming and related to the Harry Potter fandom. Again, that is just my opinion. I do not know that for sure. Hogwarts Legacy will definitely be a part of Gamescom opening night. I do not know if it will be part of anything else that is going on at the convention. You can stream this online. It will be available 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, August 23rd. My friend Lynette, a wizard PhD, will be co-streaming the event, which means that you can watch her reactions live along with whatever content we get. I will be working, so I will not be co-streaming, um, but hopefully somebody will text me when Hogwarts Legacy shows up during the opening night so that I can watch it from work. We are supposed to get an exclusive new look at Hogwarts Legacy. 
whatever that means. I'm hoping that we still get the long awaited and promised detailed look at the common rooms. There's also something else that I have been waiting for the Hogwarts Leg Legacy marketing team to show us that they have not shown us yet. I have talked to Lynette about it. I'm giving them a little bit more time before I publicly criticize them for having not shown this yet. So who knows, maybe that is what we will get at Gamescom. More teaser content, mostly through Twitter, but we also have the Autodesk presentation. The first teaser video is a gorgeous dark forest scene. The second is of the Divination Tower, which is at the very top of the North Tower. So y'all listen to Ravenclaws. When the North Tower video came out, there were multiple replies and quote tweets connecting it to divination. So of course I replied and asked about that because it did not match the book description of the entrance to the divination classroom. Some people were not exactly polite in their response to me um, in regards to my, my reply, my tweet. I did not. Uh, but I was right. <laughs> we now see that the entrance to the divination classroom is distinct from the North Tower video that we saw, which was clearly a lower landing and not the entrance. So I love that the team has been this attentive to canon, that they know what the entrance to the divination tower looks like. So reminder y'all, read the books. I have not seen the Autodesk presentation because honestly I am slammed with everything. I'm just trying to figure out how to balance having a full-time job and taking care of my health and still spending time with my husband. Plus, you know, now I'm in Austin for a week. So I've just had a lot going on and my health really does have to come first and my new full-time job comes second. So I have not seen the Autodesk presentation. However, I have seen some of the images from it and I am extremely curious about this drop-down menu and I wanna know if I can play as a pacifist. I have a full video on wanting to play as a pacifist, so fingers crossed that that is an option in the game. Finally, we got a teaser tweet related to Gamescom. Some students don't always heed every warning. Beware spiders. So awesome, that is extremely creepy. Yeah. Last but not least, we got another ASMR video. This literally dropped after I initially scripted this video and even after I initially filmed this video. Luckily, I already needed to reshoot because there were quality issues with filming. So I get to talk about the ASMR video. This is a summer ASMR video. Props to my friend, James Expecto Go, who predicted that this would be the next big content that we were getting from the Hogwarts Legacy marketing team. It is gorgeous. I do not have time to do a deep dive because I am filming this on my lunch break and I have to get back to work. So, I think we can safely predict another ASMR video for fall or maybe Halloween and then another ASMR video for winter or maybe Christmas. I am honestly loving the creativity that is coming from the Hogwarts Legacy marketing team, especially because there are a lot of challenges when doing marketing for the Harry Potter IP. There is just a lot more control and rigidity in <laughs> everything related to Harry Potter. So the marketing team has done a great job of working within what they're allowed to do and still giving us an amazing preview of what is yet to come. For more Hogwarts Legacy content, you can check out my theory on the flu flame here. You can also check out why I am thrilled about Hogwarts Legacy already as a Ravenclaw. Other than that, these are all the Hogwarts Legacy updates that I have for y'all, and I appreciate you watching my videos, even though I can no longer create content with a quick turnaround. I just have a really busy schedule, and I have to take care of myself first. So. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. As always, keep reading and stay sparkly.